Welcome to Throwback Thursday, where we teach you an old school DJ trick that everyone should know. In today's technique, I'm gonna teach you how to do a pitch ride. We're gonna ride the pitch fader to not only match the BPM, but also the phase of our new track to our old track. While this was definitely invented for vinyl DJing, it's still very applicable to CDJs and controllers, and more importantly, it's gonna train your ears and impress your friends. So how does it work? We've got a track loaded on the left and we want to match the phase of the right. So when mixing two songs together, you're constantly adjusting the phase of the two, either by pushing the, uh, pulling the song back like that, or pushing it forward. Adjusting the snares and the kicks so they're right on top of each other. Now, while this is a pretty easy technique to master, you might hear something wrong with it. Let's listen to this track. Pretty noticeable speed up or speed down. And frankly, that is not perfect mixing. If we want to achieve a perfect mix, we need to learn how to ride the pitch fader and make those same phase adjustments, temporarily speeding up the song or slowing it down without a noticeable pitch change. We do that by one of two ways. Either moving the fader up and then back right to its same position very quickly. So a big dramatic move right back or a less dramatic move, maybe about 20% for about five or six seconds, as long as it takes for that track to adjust and then right back to the position. These are the two ways to do it. Let's hear what that sounds like. You'll hear with that one, there's just a tiniest little bit of a pitch adjustment, but not much. It's very subtle, it's very precise. It's also really easy because you've got the muscle memory of where you started to go back to that point. It's a little bit harder to say, speed it up and then speed it back down. Let's hear that in action. the quick throw. Pretty spot on. Now it's a little bit behind, so I'll move it ahead. I personally like the quick throw because it's easier to find the muscle memory and go back to your original spot. You'll find all it requires is a couple of adjustments and then eventually you'll find the perfect median point. Now, for a challenge and to really develop your ears, here's what I recommend you do. Let's back this track up a little bit. I've reset this pitch fader to zero. Drop a new track. And then I want you to both beat match and phase match only using the pitch fader. You'll find it's not hard after you've practiced maybe for a month or so. But I guarantee this technique, once you get it, will be well worth your time. Not only is it gonna train your ears to really listen to the songs, but it's gonna allow you to do the perfect, most seamless mixes ever if you're using controllers, turntables, or CDJs. So for more tips, tricks, reviews, and more Throwback Thursday techniques, you've got to visit us on the web at djtechtools.com.